All right, well, thank you for being here. This is Does Your Program Have the Juice? Uh, this is the second time we've done this uh, panel. Uh, we did the first at, in the, the Vegas uh, Affiliate Summit. Uh, my name is Greg Hoffman. I am an outsourced program manager. I've got programs in Share, Sell, and Commission Junction. Uh, we started doing this uh, as a podcast about two years ago. And the, the basic premise is that we are looking at uh, affiliate programs from the affiliate interface, and we, we like to choose ShareSell because it's the most friendly uh, to, to look at, uh, and, and we look at it for whether or not affiliates would want to join this program. So we teach affiliates how to analyze a program to see if it's worthy of our time and effort, and then we also want to teach the merchants, if there's any merchants in here, uh, to how to window dress your affiliate program so that affiliates want to join your program. And we look at the red flags and we give our honest opinions of whether or not we like this or don't like this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to ask uh, people in the audience in a few minutes if anyone wants to volunteer a merchant site in share or sale preferably. Um, and if not, we'll just go live and do what we normally do on the podcast. Uh, and, and go in there and uh, do a live review. So I'd like to welcome our panel, uh, and I would like to start with Layla Arson. Both of our uh, panelists are affiliates. I am a manager, so we give both perspectives. So Layla, tell the crowd about yourself. Um, I'm, my name is Layla Arson. I, I actually work for Zeno Group. I'm a digital engagement strategist, so that's what I do full time. Um, I'm also an affiliate, a publisher, uh, and I have several different verticals that I have sites in, so mostly content marketing. Okay, the next is Mike Buchel. Mike is on a couple podcasts with me and a, a longtime friend. He is a, a, a super affiliate, so you can you can tell everybody about who you are and, and why you're here. Every time I hear super affiliate, I ask, what are your superpowers? But uh, <laughs> uh, Mike Buchel, I've been in the, uh, the ad tech industry for like 14 years. I've been in the affiliate space maybe five, seven years, um, do a lot of, of consulting in, that, in both spaces. I am also affiliate. Uh, I know a lot about media buys, about PPC, uh, not so much SEO, but more on, on uh, PPC and, uh, and uh, the media buy space. But uh, you share a sale, looking, uh, going through the same stuff that we're going to be showing you as far as how to evaluate what merchants uh, would be a good fit. Okay. Do we have any merchants in share sell? here today. Okay. Would you like to be reviewed? Would you like us to go through <laughs> your... She's so on the spot. And, and we'll be nice. We'll be nice. Yeah, great. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, brand new. Oh, perfect. Yeah, like we, we just turned it on um, a few months ago. But okay. Okay, all right, we're gonna go into ShareSell and look at your program. We will search for merchants. This is my affiliate account. You will notice that I have $2.88 as an affiliate. Balls. Since, well, I'm a manager, so I don't have a, a lot of affiliate sites. Uh, so I'm gonna do search for merchants. And what am I searching for? What keyword would you show up under? Brand name. Spell it. C-R-A-F-T-S-Y. There it is, craftsy.com. All right. Okay. So this is the initial page that shows up. Um, you pay, you're in the home and garden category. You pay 30% per sale, $1 per lead. Uh, you have a 60-day cookie. Um, and that's what we can tell from here. So. What we like to do is we like to look at the program description page, which is going to be right here, and it shows your merchant ID is 29190. And so you've got a good logo on there. You can probably make that a little bit smaller, just so people don't have to scroll down. Um, all right, so we've got some good live stats. You actually have sales. There's not zeros across the board. That's a good start. Um, Let's see, you 60-day cookie, you've got auto deposit, congratulations, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, everyone should be on auto deposit if they're in share or sale. Uh, I don't see a, a data feed. D 
Do you have more than one product? Um, yes, about 100. Okay. Ooh. Just learn who the database was. Okay. If, if you can, can you stand in front of the microphone so we can pick it up while we pick on you? <laughs> <laughs> I promise I'll be nice. Um, so why don't you have a data feed if you've got 100 products? Just learned what one was yesterday. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, that's a Brand good, new. good reason. <laughs> that's fine. Did you, uh, did you learn it here at Affiliate Summit in the session? Here, yes. Oh, yes. Excellent. That's awesome. <laughs> good stuff. All right. So do you know how to build a data feed? Do you have the programming staff to do that? Uh, plenty of engineers. No idea how to build it. Um, really just learned conceptually what it is and that it is definitely desired by affiliates. Okay. So mm -hmm. um, I'm sure Share Sale has plenty of resources on they how do. to build mm -hmm. that, and I certainly have the team they to do, do it. Ha they've got a PDF that you can download, and you send it over to your programmers uh, and have them talk to it. Don't worry about being the intermediary. Let them talk directly to the share cell tech guys Okay. so the messages don't get crossed. Great. Uh, so they all speak the same language. Uh, but yeah, a data feed will definitely help you. Okay. Uh, because I love data feed sites. Yeah. Uh, and and I, I would think that 25% of your sales, at least 25%, should be coming from data feed affiliates. Okay. Okay. So you can Terrific. get an, a, an immediate increase okay. once you do that. Um, and there's lots of other tips about data feeds. We'll, we'll skip that right <clears throat> now. All right. So EPC, this is one of the things that affiliates are going to look at. Uh, your seven-day EPC is 1860. 30-day uh, EPC is 1076. You have no reversals, which is a very good sign, and we can talk about that in a second. Your average sale is $10, um, and your average commission is uh, $3. Uh, so just going through the process, everything looks good, minus the data feed so far. Um, when you see an EPC like that, what, is, what does that mean to you? Is, does that look good? Does that look average? I'll let you guys answer that. What do you look for? I'm, I'm a little weird on EPCs. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of crazy. I actually believe I can make anything work, and I have a long history of failures that back that up. So <laughs> um, I, 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 I just look to see I, if there's something weird that I can't explain within the numbers, then I start questioning. You know, if I, if I see something like, um, I remember we were looking at one the other day, it was like a $400. Uh, EPC, but there were no other numbers. Mm. And so I'm like, what the heck is that? How, how is this working? So I'm more into, do I see numbers across the board here? Is it something that, that, that I can work? So I know it's usually, a lot of affiliates use that as a jumping on point. They want to see, okay, what, that gives me an idea of how, uh, if I was looking at it from um, using search engine marketing or a media buy, how could I start working those numbers into my, my budget to advertise? you know, to drive the traffic to the landing page and stuff. How do I work that into my budget? Uh, if I'm looking at it maybe more from, um, I mean, maybe you can speak more about this here, from a content driven, from an SEO driven, um, I have a different perspective on, on that. So I don't, maybe you could add to it, that. For me, it's, uh, content is really important. So what I'd probably look at is, I usually go through category first, and then what I'll do is I'll compare in the category. So I'll look at the different EPCs from that particular category that I'm looking at. Okay. Um, but what I was also, I was like, for me, it would also be if this was something that I didn't feel I could sell hundreds of or whatever, if it was not, if one of my sites did not speak that much to it, I'd look at your average sale cost too. Like that was something that I was like, oh, well, I probably can only, you know, make one or two of these and their average sale is kind of low, so it might not be worth my time. But if I had a site that was very, that was able to, and I don't know your products yet, so if, if it was, if I had a site that, I knew I could sell a lot of your products, it, I'd feel differently about it. Okay. All right, so we're going to be looking at the description that you uploaded, and the first thing I noticed that it is done in HTML, so good job. Uh, there's a lot of people that just put two mm. sentences up in text, and that's it. So you put some time and effort into it. Uh, it's got a good description. It's got highlights to the program, um, and you've actually got an email address where affiliates can contact you. So you would be surprised that 90% don't even fill this out. Mm. Oh, wow. So you're already ahead of the curve in presenting. You've already yeah. window addressed your program uh, pretty well. Yeah. And this, this is something I look for. I mean, I want to see a lot of description that was put in there from the merchant. 
You know, because so many times I'll see something where, okay, e either the product is right in, in a niche I'm working on, mm -hmm. or, uh, or maybe the numbers are, are like, like it's a very high uh, average sale, which is something I want, again, I work into the, the budget that I put toward it. Um, but if there's like, just as Greg said, just a few lines in there, I start to worry. You know, then it's like, if it's only a few lines, I'm like, okay, I start thinking, okay, who's running this program on the merchant side? Who is this person? You know, what, what, how, how much of a, um, uh, of a team does this person have behind them? You know, but something like this, I'm like, hey, we'll put some time into this. All right, this is, this is good. Okay. I actually read descriptions, so I would, I'd probably like read everything and then it's nice that you have an email address because then you can contact the person, let's say you don't get approved, and you can ask them to approve you. Now, one small pet peeve of mine that mm -hmm. I've heard from many affiliates, one of them sitting in the front row, um, <laughs> you, you sign it, the Craftsy Affiliate Management Team. Right, I was not yet hired when that was okay. written. When you get <laughs> a chance. But I can put my name now. <laughs> put your name down there. <laughs> okay. If you're gonna be the affiliate manager, put your name on it and don't say the team. Okay, So m make sure that, that they know, it's great that the email is in there, mm -hmm. but put your name in. There's a question. I can answer that. Go ahead. Uh, because I want to talk to a person. I don't want to talk to a team. I want to know that there's somebody there and that person writes me back. And I, even though I know for a fact that they don't really care about me in real life, I like, <laughs> I like the fact that when they, when I get an email, it's from a person and that person perhaps has looked at my site. That person cares about whether or not I'm going to make a sale. Um, and sure, maybe the whole team cares too, but it feels a lot better when it comes from Jane or whoever it might be. And, and I think the, um, affiliate marketing is all about relationships. So you want to know who the manager is. You, if you're proud of the, the program, put your name out there. And, and don't fear about putting your name out there and getting harassing messages or letting people know who you are. You, you've got to put yourself out. If you're going to be the, the manager, put your name out there. Be proud of it. All right, so let's move on. Let's go look at the, the, the terms of service. You actually did put in some terms of service. You put in definitions. Um, so there are terms in there. I don't see anything completely unreasonable. Uh, so everything looks good. So we're gonna go back up and we can probably wrap this one up in the next couple minutes. Um, can I ask a quick question of sure. Layla? When you mentioned like if, you, if you're not approved then you can actually get in touch with someone. Um, We've had a ton of folks applying, and you know, there's usually a website associated with their account, and unless they note anything different in the box, that's the website I'm using to right. evaluate. So when I see that you sell Ninja t-shirts, I'm likely not gonna approve you for my craft videos, just because it's, that doesn't seem like a good brand fit, that doesn't seem, like I don't, I don't wanna be super down market about our logo placement, and like really make sure that it's a good fit, and that you're earning, and therefore you're happy with the program. But it seems like from what I've learned yesterday, that is not the way to go. Like you just approve folks, they could have dozens and dozens of sites that they're not listing there, they could have something totally targeted. So how do you, I, how do you know as I a list manager? Mine. Because uh, actually, Jason from ShareASale told me to list my sites when I do that. <laughs> so when I first st started applying for things, I wasn't either. I'd just like apply. And the site that I signed up under is my personal blog, which doesn't get a lot of traffic. And it, uh, I don't use it often enough for affiliate stuff. Right. You know, so, but I have like a whole bunch of other websites that I, depending on the program. So I usually put that in there. Um, you probably won't know, and I can't speak to whether or not you should be approving everyone or not approving everyone. I don't know what I would do personally. I mean, I know what I would do, but I don't know that my answer would be right. So, um, but if you, the only thing I could say is maybe if you saw someone with that Ninja website and you looked at the site and you're like, you know what, this is really off topic, but they get a ton of traffic and it looks like a site maybe that, maybe this guy has 10 other sites, I don't know. Maybe you reach out to him and say, yeah. And say, hey, what were you, you know, was this the site you were applying for? Is there another one? Right. You're not going to be able to do that with every single one. But this but is where a good OPM comes in, right? Is that what I'm learning? Well, they know, they know I, what I'll, sites I'll, everyone has. I'll give you one of my tips. Uh, put in your decline email if you have a plan, if you have a strategy, if you have another domain yeah. that matches our mm -hmm. program and we didn't see that in your application, please, we'll give you a second chance. Yeah. Okay. Please enter, you know, tell us now, hit reply, and then be open, because I, I have gotten those second reply emails, and I've still said, no, 
I, I'm, it's not a good enough strategy, but nine times out of 10, I will give them that chance. Uh, because I'm very strict about who I let into my programs because I can tell which ones are limited, which ones uh, are, are, are not going to be the right fit. Uh, and, and they never hit reply on that second reply email anyway, so. Um, yeah. No, I, I get that all the time. Yeah, you know, as far as because uh, yeah, I I have a limited number of sites. I'm I'm, I'm much more of of looking at these things as uh, you know on a media budget of how would I drive the traffic to a landing page or, or to the merchant or to a data feed site or to a co-branded site. So I don't have too many websites that I list, but I always get you know I I put in you know if there's an issue, contact me. I'm completely upfront on how I run campaigns or how how I drive traffic. Just talk to me. Okay. And for any affiliates in the room, please fill out your applications and put in why you're applying to that program and what your strategy is. If you joined a thousand programs that day, expect lots of rejections because you didn't put in exactly how you're going to promote that specific merchant. That's what managers are looking for. Question. You mentioned the term rejection. Yes. I have one. It's, it's, it's more of a, uh, since I like to use a lot of different methods of, of driving traffic, there are some programs who uh, I may actually like, or are know, we know everybody in the, in the industry, you become friends with them. You know, I, there are people out there who are great people, but some of them have a terms and conditions where they just won't take uh, PPC. Not at all. And they have good reasons for that. I, I mean, they probably, you know, they have their own teams or a larger company, they, they're driving their own, uh, they're protecting their brand on the search engine, which is fine. To me, that's limiting. You know, because I, I like to have a lot of different channels open to, to drive traffic. So there are things that I look for, you know, that, that as I'm trying to build things, I want to have the options to open, op to be open to a lot of different ways of traffic. So uh, I do know a few who just say we can't do PPC, so I have to think about it. Yeah. I would agree with that. Um, one of the re main reasons, I don't do a lot of, I don't buy a lot of ads, but one of the main reasons I would agree with you on that is I forget who said absolutely no PPC, <laughs> and I can't remember that. So, I mean, I'm not. There are definitely people who are like, don't bid on obvious keywords, right. which I, I don't do. But when it gets that specific, I'd be like, I'm not going to remember this guy that said no PPC, and I'm going to get kicked out of his program. So that I would agree with. Um, but I'm trying to think if there's anything else in there that I can't. I, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Really. Yeah, usually, I don't see. It, they, the terms of services is there because it, a lot of them are pretty standard. I, I look at cookies too. Like I mean, I know cookie that was duration. your question. Yeah. yeah, cookie duration. Like one time there was a guy who had all 365. I don't know. It was like some crazy cookie, and I'm like, a crazy cookie. I was like, all right. You know, I mean, I'll just I just approved him simply because of his crazy cookie. <laughs> all right, we were going to be looking at the view trend. That's something that Mike, as an affiliate, has looked yeah. at the affiliate commissions. There's a view trend, but we don't have JavaScript installed here, so it's okay. But that is something affiliates look at the trends when you're looking at yeah. the uh, the programs. All right, one, two other things we do. Uh, we do go to the website. We look at your website, but we'll skip that today. We're just sticking with the the affiliate interface. But affiliates will go to your website and evaluate mm -hmm. whether or not you have any leaks on the homepage, uh, or if it's just a good design, and see what type of products you have, and see if it's a right fit for for them to promote. So one thing that they do is. They will look at, where is it? It's probably up. They're gonna look at any creative banners that you have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and any pre, have you sent any newsletters out? Um, I think there's one back in February, but there's there's a couple dozen banners in there. Okay, so let's look at, we'll preview the, the creative banners real quick. Um, all right, so. All right, we've got, We've got good images. We've got clean, fresh um, content. And we've got a button that says learn more. And uh, an online class 50% off. So that's an enticing uh, banner. So you've, you've done a good job with that. Uh, is that a video banner right there? What is this little? <laughs> no, no, that's a good trick. That's what that is. Oh, video, I can click on that. <laughs> that does not actually play. Did you, you just tricked me. <laughs> You tricked me on that one. Um, yeah. I'm not. 
I am just getting the chance to go through and look what was put in there before That's I got there. Brilliant. Yeah, that, that yeah. does not actually I, play I use that all the time. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you're so smart. All right, well, But we it, like I guess it one. could. It could play something. <clears throat> it, Cindy, it doesn't at the moment. we got to write that one down. <laughs> I like that. It, it's on several, all of your banners. <laughs> oh, wow. <Yep>. Awesome. <laughs> right. Oh, because right. it's a video. They are online classes. Are they videos? Yeah. yeah. Yep. But I don't know if, the, no, her, their site is. But these are static it, it, it probably clicks through to the video, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, place. there you go. Sure. That's good. Sure, sure it does. Of course it's amazing. We're okay. working well, on it. And, and that's one thing that I want you to look at is, is when you have a chance, look at where the landing pages are connected to these banners. Each and of those is going to go to that individual class's cell page. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's great. All right, so make sure that the, it doesn't all go back to your home page. No, no. Okay, good. All right, um, so typical on the podcast, I would always ask at the end of a review, does this program have the juice? What do you think, guys? Uh, I, I would have a few. I'm, I'd definitely be interested if this was, if this was like a niche I'd be interested in. I, I would probably contact, uh, sign up, try to contact you, whoever's there, and have more questions because I'm, I'm – you know, I'm not just going to sign up and run. You know, once I'm approved, I'll have some questions for you as well. I mean, I'm like first question I can think of, I can think of is, you know, would you be open for you know any other custom banner designs? Because I the yeah question. yeah I like to use a lot of different uh, banner designs because I split test, you know like and I I also would want to know, you know, do you have anything you can share with me as far as are you finding which, which banners are working great, you know, given the traffic. Um, That's and something you, we're, we're just starting, yeah. For most of the classes in our catalog, we try just like five standard banner sizes, mm -hmm. and we're doing a lot of testing on our end and hopefully learning to use the share sale tools a little better cool. to see yeah. what's actually working for everyone, but we're happy to create anything you need. Great, yeah. Yeah, I think when, I, I love it when people will create custom banners for you or let you create your own yeah. too. I think that that's, that's like one of my favorite things. All right, yes or no? Does yeah. it have the juice? Yeah. yeah. All right, that's Soon. three. Good <laughs> Thank job. you. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. <laughs> All right, so let's go back. Uh, is there, are there any other share sale merchants that would like to volunteer um, for us to look at the programs, old or new? Anyone going once, twice? All right, so we're going to go oh. live. Oh, there is one. Was that one? Where? All right, hit us. <coughs> Come up to the microphone, yeah, please. First of all, my name is Aaron Austin. I'm actually with Carousel Checks, so um, I'm familiar. So I don't know. Do you need me to sign in or no? Or just do anything? I, I'll, I'll type in Carousel Checks. I think I'm quite familiar with the program. Yeah, I figured you would be. Carousel Checks. See, look at all the search. Now, th real quick, merchants, if you're in here, look at when as soon as I typed in Carousel, he's got all of these keywords in there. Oh, that's nice. So there's no question about what program it is. All right, search. <clears throat> All right. Aaron, you're in for it, buddy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it took me a little while to raise my hand. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, all right. You're, you're already going to win because there's a button there that says top 100 power rank. Okay, so anytime, this is for the affiliates out there, anytime you see something that says top 100 power rank, that is one of the top 100 programs out of more than 3,000 in the entire network. So, Aaron, you're a good ringer. I didn't know you were back there. Um, <laughs> so, affiliates, always definitely check out the power rank. That's a nice little button that ShareOfSell puts up there. Uh, so, let's look at your description page. And scroll down. All right. Now, now you get to see what a big EPC number looks like. Yeah. 180-day um, cookie. Uh, they have a data feed. They are on auto deposit. Um, they have been active. If you look over here on the, the left side, you can see how old the program is. Uh, you can see that they were active on ShareSell on December or October 14, 2009. Um, let's see, EPC, seven day EPC is $190. So in, in simple math, that means affiliates are making money. Yeah. 
okay? So there, there's, there's an algorithm behind it. Uh, Mike talked about it before. Uh, you're not reversing any checks, so that's a great thing. Right. Um, the average sale is $31. Average commission is $16. So everything looks strong so far. Uh, and if anyone's asking, I love the tagline. Uh, yes, people still buy and use checks. So <laughs> checks is still a major uh, a way to earn money through affiliate marketing. Um, let's see, 3,500 plus unique check products at 25% commission. You have everything filled out. And Aaron has his name in the description, so good job. Um, and let's see, look at the terms of service down there. You have extensive terms of service uh, because you need them, because right. the program's been around. And as merchants learn and grow, they, they, they've been burned here and there. Uh, and they will, the, the terms of service will get more and more extensive. And not to cut you off, Greg, but when, as, if you scroll, like, I've been having or thinking about having like our web team develop some type of banner that's around our description page, things like that. How much does that really play into, you know, when the affiliates are searching for the, because as you know, I took this program over probably back in March and right. since then it's, you know, I've got it onto the top 100. You can, up, you can like make that. it look like an HTML newsletter. And is that, I mean, is that something that is attractive for affiliates or I mean, once they- I believe so. Okay. I believe so, so it's, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I was just about to say, I don't care. I don't really care either. Yeah, that's why I didn't like, know, like, when you look at the stats, if you, you, you hear it from the affiliates, they don't if care. If you highlighted something that was really, yeah. that I really, you wanted me to see, sure, but, like, if it looks pretty, I don't care. Okay. You know, it's, it's, like the, it's like the people who pay extra on the dating sites to highlight their profile. I'm like, who cares? Right. You're still ugly. Right. <laughs> I'm still not going to date you. Right. Right. I just didn't know, because I know with the text, you can just type in there and stuff like that. I didn't know how much of a, you know, prettiness made a difference or not. I think so if you I just organize it, yeah. it's, it's, it's organized. organized. Yeah, it's organized. Okay. This yeah. is HTML. So it's already in HTML. If you want to add a banner in there, that's fine. Okay. I think it would just look better, but. Right. right. I mean, that's the extent of yeah. yeah. HTML coding yeah. goes. So yeah. I didn't know, if, you know, going far. further would as long, as long make as a difference or not. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Um, do we have any questions for Aaron? Do you, do you see anything there that, do you see any red flags or do you have any questions? Um, I mean, no. I, I think he, he's covered all the bases. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say look at the tram, but we don't jump the script. Let's look, at yeah. his, let's look at his creative. All right. Yeah. All and you right, had a so data feed, right? Yeah, you yeah. did. Okay, cool. Yeah, how many, how many, how products, many products are in your products. data feed? Um, the way it's set up actually is we have three different brands in there. So there's th four separate data feeds one for each brand and then it all stores data feed with all products, which I think uh, comes around to like 2186 or something. Wow. Like okay. Do you, uh, uh, wh what I do when I use data feeds, I, I, I either build it myself using this or I go to a third party. I mean, do you partner with any other? We have a couple actually of data our programmers and developers created for us, which sometimes creates some, some issues because I got to go in there and, you know, basically you know, look at everything, and I right. technology side of that, I don't know how to change things. So usually it's my affiliates that are saying, hey, what is this, you know, symbol doing in here, or, you know, this is message in, in an image or something like that. So, cool. You know. Okay. All right, affiliates, I would like to get your opinion on the first. Uh, it's a special link in ShareSell. It is a search box. Uh, checks on sale, search keywords, search oh, wow. for checks. Would oh. you, I, I know, I know there's lots of affiliates that love that. Yeah. Uh, because they do have that in the data feed. What do you think? Uh, well, from this distance, it looks ugly. I'll just say that. <laughs> but I, that, it might work. You know, a lot of times I think it's something that looks you know, really odd looking. On, on whatever page I can put that on, it might work. But again, you know, any, any kind of banner, and anything, you know, any kind of creative, I think I said before, I love to split test. So I would have five different versions of that. Okay. And just see which one works. Um, but I use... The way I go about thinking, I think more landing page. When I want, yeah, yeah you're, you're more content. When I, when I think landing page, I want one action on there. I want uh, the users here to get a little bit of information. Maybe I'll have links going out for more information. Mm -hmm. But I want them to do primarily one thing, and that is to click through to you with a credit card. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't use a search that much. I don't know. I can't. I'm trying to think of where I would even put that. and okay. I. And, I'm like, well, if I wrote an article about checks, but like, would I really write an article about checks? I don't think so. Um, but 
So I don't know like where it would go, but I could see how for other people, maybe mm -hmm. it, it would make more sense. Okay. Now, do you know where this landing page goes to? I or don't. Or is it just a, a no, no, I believe if, well, no, that one goes, I want to say to the home page. So it's not Ooh. anything, yeah. you know, specific. Okay. Is it, is that no. actually say search for. But if you search for something, doesn't it I work? Want, like, wouldn't yeah, it go I want to like, search if, you, if you said stuff, NFL yeah. checks, wouldn't it go land on like NFL checks? Ideally, yes. <laughs> Does I, okay. I to be honest with you because I took the program over, so I've been you know slowly right. learning. Yeah. You know that was something that you know it said something else before, so I went in there just to change you know what it said to what it says now. And as far as anything else goes, do people use this a lot? No. Okay. Hey. So <laughs> it's one of those things that it's it's there because I think there's I want to say three people out of <laughs> all of them on there that no. use it, and you know what? I don't want to be the one to say look. Three this people aren't worth it to well, take it off. Have you have you told them about it? Have you reminded them in the no. newsletters that it is there and no. do you, uh, it, it's worth a test to, to a put it out there? Case study like of the three people that use it, is there like <laughs> no. one guy that's like making a ton of money from this search box? No, I don't. Okay. Well, and and I brought it up just because it's unique. I, I right. Yeah. I've no, heard I mean about I'm these. glad you did because it's something that was there before, and it's one of those things I didn't know why it was created to begin with. I don't know if it was something specific for one affiliate. Okay. You know that was created, right. or if it was you know yeah. something that could not even be in the program anymore. So All right. Yeah. Well, let's go down and look at the the, the regular merchant banners. Uh, fourth box free personal checks from carousel checks is that still an active promotion yes okay so all these banners are good um, they're of different sizes they're the correct sizes uh, these are the banners that I'm used to are they rotating the checks I, I, I can't tell if it's yeah some scrolling. of them are saying, oh, they're rotating yeah, yeah. They're rotating cool I like that moving M moving stuff within the banner I like it's so funny because I hate moving banners, but I know yeah. they work I just don't like the way they look. I saw that one coming yeah. <laughs> I that's why they're both though. on there. All right, we're gonna keep scrolling down. Um, just look at the, the, like I said, these are the banners that I've seen. Um, that's a, well, these are the holiday. Yes. And it looks like you have extensive, you have business yeah. and oh, computer that's, checks. That's good so I could keep scrolling, you probably have 100. There's a, there's a few of them on there, if, yeah. if not more. All right, so good creative, uh, good established company programs been around for for three years high EPCs affiliates are making money um, does his program have the juice I'd say absolutely yeah all right Aaron you yeah. passed yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> I might actually sign up when I leave okay. here please do <laughs> absolutely all right um, thank, thank you. you guys uh, and and I do have one more volunteer in the back Jed can we do it all right come up <laughs> Oh, can I say something like that? Go ahead. So the one thing that I've realized that I started to do recently is I actually pin my, um, well, I pin everything from my site, but with banner ads and stuff, sometimes just making one that's just an image that I can pin on Pinterest, because I'll pin all my ads. So that's something that I would think of if I were an advertiser, is creating something that might look good on Pinterest, um, because it's what I've been doing now is pinning my Pinning, pinning the ads. From my site, yeah. like pinning the actual ads. You would have to talk have to, to the, the manager. But yeah. A lot of yeah, people will it, say it yes. Depends. It depends. It depends on how brand conscious they are. Yeah. And, and whether or not they trust you that you're not going to change the banner and make the company look bad. That's what they would be worried about uh, on, on the front side. I, so if I knew you, if, I, if, if, if it was Mike, yes, absolutely. I trust him. I know him. Uh, you, I would have to say, you, get, you have to show it to me first. Right. So I would want approval. Some places will, I mean, it's never happened to me, but some places will make one for you. Yeah. Yeah, I've, ha I've had that re request, uh, custom custom banners and things like that. A lot of the times I'll go, um, you know, I'll go, I'll go to Fiverr, you know, you know, Fiverr.com or wherever it is. Or, yeah. Never heard of it. <laughs> I've never used yeah. Fiverr. Hey, he's new, help me him out. You may, you may not know everybody. <laughs> and I'll get a couple of banners made. Uh, you know, 20, I'll pay 25 bucks, get five, get five banners and, and find out. It, it, it does depend on who you speak to. I know everything that we're talking about here is, is CPS related. You know, you're talking about an actual physical product. It's a whole other slew of, of companies in this business, more CPA, lead gen stuff. They're a lot more lenient as far as uh, 
you know, what kind of uh, creatives you take. So. All right, uh, I want to point out, everybody look at, uh, at Jed's uh, logo. See how small it is? Yeah. Uh, the first one reviewed, uh, it was a larger logo. I, I like Jed's logo. It's it's nice and small. So if you can work on, I just like to clarify too. During the, uh, Q4, we're actually in the top 20, so it doesn't, you know, we're a little off during the off season. But all right, all right. So another top 100, <laughs> top 20. Excuse me. All right. So um, let's let's look. All right, uh, Fruit Company, active on ShareASale in 2006, a very mature program, 90-day uh, cookie, auto deposit, uh, data feed. What we haven't seen is um, uh, you, you manually approve because it doesn't say auto approve. Correct. I do. So I think all three programs are on manual approval which I suggest everyone should be on manual approval, not auto approval. The whole approval. FTC thing made that kind of a necessity, so. Exactly. But a lot of the new managers don't know that. They just leave it on auto approve. Can I ask him a question? Sure. What What do you look for when you're approving? Um, I look for their page with disclosure page. I look to see if it's relevant to, you know, the types of sites that they're building. If it's going to be something that will be relevant, it may not be the same. You know, I know affiliates put up, you know, they could be doing something about tires, and they could be doing one about fruit baskets, and they might not have their gifting site available for me to see. But if if I see it's a quality site that's being built then it's a good way to start a communication with them and to get, you know, help them out and work together on something, so. All right, we can run through yours quick um, since it's a top 20. Q4. Um, let's see, EPC right now in August, uh, the last seven days, is $100. Uh, no reversal rate. Uh, average sale is $157. That's great. That's really high. Um, and you pay 12%, so your average commission uh, on that $157 is $19. So on one sale, affiliates can earn up to $19 and probably a lot higher uh, in Q4. Q4, our average is around $90 to $100 okay. because we have a lot of smaller gifts that are going out on a large quantity Got amount. It. So that it drops sense. about. Right now in the off season, that we have fruit clubs that go out, and so that's probably a lot of fruit clubs have bumped that up. So Okay. All right. Um, let's see. You've got... Uh, merchant description. Well, that's a little yeah. puny merchant description, buddy. <laughs> Somewhere to grow, you know. Uh, well, but it, it is, it's, maybe you don't need to have a, 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 a nice big HTML description um, <laughs> because you do have a successful program, um, but maybe it's just the brand that's bringing the people in. Um, but I would want to window dress it. Uh, and, and that's, when we did this last time, um, in Vegas, Wade was worried that we were going to pull up one of his sites and it was going to look like that and I was going to make fun of one of his sites. So here we are. Well, in, in fairness, we are actually kind of revamping the way our landing pages and such look for signing up our affiliate page on our site. But we are just redoing right now. Okay. And it's already, so that's, that's got the window dressing. We still haven't quite got the design okay. into here. Well, you saw how Aaron's was. Yes. And I liked how Aaron laid it out and laid out all of the, the benefits and, you know, everything. Is your name on here? Uh, your name's not on the description. Hard to tell. It is not on that one. You, be proud of who you are. <laughs> tell affiliates your name. Um, and do you do that in, in the auto um, approvals? Yeah, yeah, it's on any of the, any on, of the messaging. and any On of the, the autoresponders, you yeah. tell everybody? It's okay. on all that. So. All right. Um, so you've got extensive uh, terms of agreements. Um, I'm not going to run through them, but it is extensive. Uh, so affiliates would have to read that and agree to it. Um, let's just for the fun of it. Let's act, here we can look at the view trend. Oh, no, great. I can't because no, you don't have JavaScript. No JavaScript. All no. right, so let's look at your banners real quick. Uh, I know they're perfect. Um, you don't have any special links, like Aaron. Have you ever seen any need for any type of search? link like that? We haven't used it as much, really. It hasn't been a big need. A, a lot of it is just direct linking. Okay. So. All right. Uh, so standard sizes from 88 by 31 all the way up. Um, oh, they're nice. The very nice yeah. banners. Beautiful. They're, I see one thing missing that I'm going to pick on you about. There's no call, call to action. action. Yeah. Some yeah. of them do have call to action. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of a, as many other managers may know, kind of going back and forth with graphic designers is always a, a battle. But we are... Uh, 
that is something that I'm constantly asking for. You definitely have to win. They're focused on branding, and I'm like, well, I know, we want to convert the sales. You got to win. You got to win that battle. Yeah, you really do. And I'm like a huge. You'll see, like the Easter person, set has a little more. And I still agree. Yeah, shop Easter gifts. Yeah. See, that makes sense. Yeah, and I had a push for that one. So. All right, good. All right, well, this one's going to be a no-brainer. Does the fruit company have the juice? Oh yeah. 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 Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Jed. Right, thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Do we have one more? Did you? okay. Well, actually, it's just a question. Sure, come on up. Okay. Um, so, when when looking at, at as a merchant potentially uh, evaluating some of the bigger uh, affiliate accounts or um, networks, do you do you ever look at uh, competitors that are on a network, and and how do you view that as an advantage, disadvantage? Because I'm torn because I think okay, a competitor's on here. They probably have a lot of affiliates built into the network, but then at the same time. Already. Does that make sense? Are you asking as a merchant or an affiliate? As a merchant. Yes, you definitely need to do competitive intelligence. Okay. Uh, and and what we do is we we have I, I have my own affiliate account, so I do this for my competitors. I'm not going to join their programs, but I do have friends that join their programs mm -hmm. and let me know, hey, you know, these guys have a better offer, these guys have better banners, these guys have a better cookie, they have more better commissions. I'm converting higher. I heard that this week, which kills me that there is a site out there that converts higher than, than one of my clients. That's just the way my client is. Uh, it hurts, but at least I know that you know the affiliate is making money from me, but they're making a little bit more from my competitor. So I have to push, as a manager, I have to push my merchant, okay, what can you do to increase conversions? Because these other guys are beating us. So yes, and, and I, don't, I don't want you to join their, their programs uh, and be an affiliate. You should never be an affiliate in your own program. Don't be you know, sneaky and join their programs. Sure. But yeah, there, you can find ways to do competitive intelligence. But I think his, he was also asking, like, if you're on, let's say you're on XYZ Network, like, share a sale and his competitors on there. Is that also what you're asking? Like, should he be on share a sale if his competitors are on there? You need to feel comfortable with whatever network you're on. Don't worry about where they're at. Um, if, you, if you're gonna launch on share a sale uh, and you are ready to grow and move to a bigger network or you're on Commission Junction and you're thinking about it, the move needs to make sense for you. It needs to be feel right. Don't go where your competitors are. And don't 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 worry about that. If you're wondering about affiliates, we don't have any brand loyalty at all. So I, we just, <laughs> <laughs> and that's not 100 percent true. But we yeah. I, really, what it comes down to is, I have no problems promoting competitors because yeah. whoever pays me is really who I'm going to promote. <laughs> it's all about the money. No, uh, <laughs> one one thing on it since we brought up, we one of the things that we are looking for and we bring it up is, is data feeds. Uh, if you have a data feed and you're on share sale and your competitor has a data feed on share sale and, and I do this, I combine your data feeds and I put the, I can put together a site. So I'll have competing uh, companies together. You know, most likely, you know, maybe you're not selling the same product, but your competitors, you'll be together on in the feeds. Gotcha. That's that's what I look for too. Okay. Oh yeah, like in, I do it in pop shops. So. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's okay. Very helpful. All right. Um, We've got about uh, 15 minutes left. Uh, we're going to go in and, <laughs> yes, oh, look, that sign came up. It said 15 minutes. Um, so we're going to do a live review. The merchant's not in here, hopefully. Uh, if we can squeak in, too, that'd be great. So we're, what, what this, the formula is to go in to look for new merchants, new programs in the last 20 days. Um, because we've already talked about, we've, we've had three, two established programs, one fairly new one. So now we're going to look at the ones that are launched in the last 20 days. And it should show up under EPC. So, all right, this, we've not seen this one. So this is um, Explore Scientific uh, is the first one that popped up. They are, were active on the network on July 27th. The seven-day EPC is five hundred and seventeen dollars. Wow! Now that number blows us all away. That is a very big number. Uh, they've only been on the, the network for two weeks, and they've already got huge EPC. Um, their average sale is fourteen hundred dollars. Uh, they pay five percent commission, which is decent with these average sales. Average commission is seventy-two dollars. I have no idea what they're selling, so let's go see what they're all about. Yeah, 
the, fir the first thing I think of when I, when I see those numbers is, you know, can I sell this online? Because it sounds like a very high... The first thing I thought uh, of was, I need to buy a new URL. <laughs> 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 that was the first thing I thought of. <laughs> see, when, and, and this, is the, this is the process that affiliates actually see when they're looking at these things. So, yeah. uh, we're, this is, we Question. haven't seen this. Can I tell you what the first thing I thought was? Sure. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's it's not enough time so up there. That number doesn't really mean anything. Right. Really They're really new. But they still had one sale at fourteen hundred dollars. Yeah. And and for a brand new program that's been on for two weeks, they've already got their first sale. Yay! Let's throw a party because there are some launches that they might not have their first sale for the net for the first six to eight weeks. Right. Right. So you, we. <laughs> All right, so, oh yeah, low funds. All right, so, all right, everybody, red flag, first red flag of the day. Um, thank you, Cindy. Um, so they do not have auto deposit. And another red flag, they are the first ones to be on auto approve. Um, mm. They have a 60 day cookie, that's decent. Whatever they're selling, they don't have a data feed. So if that's they're, bad. yeah, if, if it's Explore Scientific, uh, they need to learn about data feeds and understand the, the, the importance. You need to get in touch with these people. <laughs> um, let's see. Anything glaring out there? All, all right. So let's. Founded to make astronomy and exploration of nature accessible and affordable. Um, let's see. They do. Down at the bottom, uh, they do have an affiliates at Explore Scientific. Uh, I don't see a manager name. Uh, but it looks like they have lots of, it says, we design, build, and sell telescopes, eyepieces, uh, spotting scopes. So they have lots of products. They should have a data feed. Hopefully that's in the process. Um, let's look at, real quick, any, all right. So there's no terms of service. So they don't understand that they need terms of service because at some <laughs> point, an affiliate will screw them. Yeah. I, I was just thinking that means I can do whatever I want right. until I get caught. <laughs> That is correct. <laughs> All right. Um, let, uh, let's look at their store real quick. Yeah. I'm just curious. So we'll open that up. Stuff Official. Look imagine. at all that stuff. Yeah. Oh, I want a data feed. I, so <laughs> I just see that right there. I'm like, this kid, you got to have a data feed. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back in a second. But see, they've got uh, MSRP uh, on that uh, telescope. And they've got the, the regular price and they've got a you save price. I don't know if they have any coupons yet, but I imagine that the coupon sites are all over this new program that's on auto approve. Yeah. Um, and if they don't have any coupons, then they're, they're probably looking at some of those products and just saying that they'll, they'll do the math to figure out how much they saved and they'll, they'll put a perceived value coupon on there. So the coupon sites will say, uh, receive up to 40% off or up to 80% off. And that's how they're getting that traffic because people that are on the Explore Scientific store are looking for a coupon on top of these savings. And so the customer goes through and then they'll show up on uh, my favorite site, Retail Me Not, uh, or another coupon site. And they'll find out, they'll find some type of made up perceived value coupon. And then the affiliate gets that uh, huge $70 commission. So the affiliate manager of this program has some lessons to learn. They have to understand that the coupon sites are out there, give them what they need, make sure that it's a real coupon, uh, and it still doesn't hurt their margin. So there are ways to work with coupon sites. It just takes a while to figure it out. Uh, so we're going to go back. And um, right, we can't look at the trends. Let's look real quick to see if they have any deals. We haven't done that yet. Uh, creative banners, view current coupons. All right. Do we have anything? No, they don't have any current coupons. So the coupon sites have made up their own coupons on this one. I'll just make that judgment call. Um, well, team, what do we think about this so far? What are your what are you what are you worried about here? Well, I'm worried that they're actually going to pull it. Like I have, a, I don't know why. I just feel like someone. It looks like someone's testing it. He mm. probably got approval from his boss. Then his boss is going to look at something and be like, "Oh, this is crazy," and like they're going to pull it. Yeah, That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, there's not a. 
there's not enough in there. I'm already looking at that. That on on my end, there's going to be a lot more work to do right. to build some kind of you know e e either site or data feed site or some kind you know of experience of right. this to drive traffic. I'm already thinking of looking at their competitors to see yeah. if I'm in this niche. If I'm like, hey, school's coming up, science nerds are going to need telescopes or whatever, you know. I'm th if I'm in that niche, I'm, t I'm taking a look and see what competitors are out there if I'm looking to sell this or, or okay. promote this. So I could say that, yes, they do have sales. Yes, the e-commerce side of it works. But from what I'm hearing from the affiliates, uh, this program does not have the juice, the juice yet. Right. right. But it has potential. It has potential. Agree. But they've got a lot of work to do. They've got to work on the data feed. They've got some, some things to do with the program. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's go down and have some fun. We're going to find... Uh, a program without EPC. This is always the fun part. Hopefully they're not in the audience. Um, who do we want to look at? Um, what is Celsius Inc? Or do we want to look at Tree Classics or Celsius Inc? Tree Classics. Tree Classics. I was going to go with Celsius. All right. <laughs> so they have no EPC. I'm tree Classics is Christmas. Yeah. All right. Tree Classics. Yes. The world's finest artificial Christmas tree since 1976. <laughs> So they've been around, they're an established company, but they just found this whole interwebs thing and started an affiliate program. <laughs> um, all right, so 30-day cookie, they have a data feed. Yay. So a little progressive That's there. Uh, they pay 2% commission. Boo. Wow. <laughs> wow. 2% commission, really? How much is an aluminum well, tree? They, what, if, <laughs> what if their trees are like $700? Still, it's really low. I, I don't, I've never ordered a, 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 a Christmas a, tree from online, so I don't know. I, well, I have a Christmas tree. Like I, I have hotpinkchristmas.com where I sell like hot pink Christmas trees, and people order like crazy expensive Christmas trees. All right, so that might be it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if if but two percent still. Yeah. I, yeah. That that is pretty low. That's yeah. Amazon numbers. Um. So let's look at their about us. It basically what they did was they copied. Well, maybe not so much. Um, they there is a contact us. It, it, it's this is their this is from their the HTML from their website. Uh, so they just plugged it in uh, as their description. Uh, so it's you know it's okay. Uh, there is actually contact us. Contact us. Uh, the manager is Maxwell Tang, uh, M Tang at TreeClassics.com. Um, they've got an affiliate agreement. So I'm not let's let's real quick go back up and see if they've got any banners. I doubt they have any coupons. Uh, preview creative banners. They do have some banners delivering Christmas to your home for 36 years plus free shipping. So you get Christmas and free shipping. <laughs> um, okay. Well, the bigger one shows that they actually sell Christmas. Oh, these are not th these are artificial trees. Yeah. I was thinking it was real you live. Was oh, real? no. <laughs> all right. Really? Delivering live Christmas trees? Um, all right. Well, they've got the basics. They've got a logo. They've got an image. They've got uh, an offer. And they've got uh, a call yeah. to action that Jed doesn't have. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So these are, these are pretty, like I said, they're pretty basic looking banners. They're, yeah, they're basic, so but, you know, and... As a manager, I look at the statistics, and banners are not where the sales are. Nope. The sales right. are coming from affiliates right. re, uh, just doing their own thing with the text links and their own affiliate link. So, but it's always good to have a general set of banners like this, even if, not, if it's not where the sales come from. So uh, what do you think? Do you think this one? Um, I would... I think that it, it, I mean, like, I think it's really the two percent that's so bad. Hey, can we, you want to click through to the site? I mean, sure. Let's see, let's see what's going on there. It's gonna look like every other Christmas tree site. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I keep going back. Hang on, not skilled with this. Yep. That's a good looking site. Mm -hmm. I like it already. Yeah, that's nice. I think someone needs to email that guy and be like, you need to change your commissions. Well, let's, all right. Well, time-honored classic trees from just $99. 2%, Ooh. they just made $2. So not worth my yeah, time. Yeah, I wouldn't. You know, I, I, I might send this as a link in an email during Christmas season and just leave it there because 
if I get a click but on it, great. If the, I don't, all right. I wouldn't even <laughs> include the data feed, and here's why. Like, even for my holiday sites, because I do holiday sites, why would I bother? Because if some, I have other sites that pay so much more, and it's going to be basically the same stuff. So I'm going to put a 2% commission competing against, like, a 10 or a 15% right. commission. I wouldn't even do that. Okay. All right. We've got five minutes left. I'm going to do one thing real quick since we have a question about the commission. Um, let's go back up and search merchants for Christmas trees and do some competitive intelligence. And merchants search, uh, let's see, Christmas trees. Let's see who shows up. Bottletree.com. Anybody, ornament shop? Uh, any of these look? Ornament shop, see that one. Tree keeper bag, real palm trees, tree classics. Well, tree classics actually shows up on there. All right, so which one, bottle tree or? Try ornament classics. Ornament shop. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, well, there it is. They've got 12% uh, per sale, store-based. So that means they have multiple stores. Ornament shop, let's, but 12% trumps 2% any day. Wait, so, so trees is just one of their products then? Or oh, ornaments, okay. Uh, ah, do they have trees is what you're looking for. Yeah. Where do I see it? Memories for your trees. I don't see trees. Oh, yeah. Ah, trees. okay, so it's ornaments, yeah, so. It's not ornaments. Yeah. Right. Um, Good point. Bottle tree, tree keeper bag. What do you think bottle tree is? Try it. Okay, that kind of a bottle tree. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> <A> garden thing. <laughs> Tree Classics, Fast Growing Tree Nurseries. All right, well, I'm not seeing Christmas Story House. Yeah, they, that's the, try that one. Do they, um, where is Eric? <laughs> uh, Eric's, uh, Eric's Eric is the number one affiliate in this program. Yeah. He is here at the conference. <laughs> Thank you, Eric, for sending us all our sales uh, products. No, all, the, all they do is the leg lamp, right? That's right. All right. So I don't think they've got it. So, well, they've got it. They've got a corner in the market on the network. They're they're charging two percent. Somebody has Christmas. Trees. Somebody else has Christmas trees. They've got another affiliate program. So this is where you leave the network and you go to Commission Junction. You go to Link Share. You go to uh, Avant Link. You find someone else. And, it, right, you find another affiliate program that has Christmas trees and you find out what their commission is. And then you go complain to this guy and say, hey, I want to work with you, yeah. but the other guys pay more commission. You need to be competitive. All right, so uh, what was that? Uh, um, what was the? Tree Classic. Tree Classics. Do, do they have the juice? Oh, no. I don't think no, so. not yet? No. Because yet. of the commission. Okay. It, yeah. All right, do we have any questions from the audience? We still have a couple minutes. Come up to the microphone, please. Um, I don't work with an affiliate network. I'm an affiliate manager, and I don't really like the middleman in there. Is there, for affiliates, an issue if a platform is not on a network, but if they've obviously got decent, um, a decent tracking system and, and everything else? And why would you guys only work through a network? Well, here's my answer, and I'm sure yours is Probably, I only have one affiliate that I work with that's not on a network. And I'll be honest with you, I barely ever even use their stuff because when I'm trying to, this, when I have like 80 million things to write and do and drop things in, I don't even want to float back between like five different networks. I just want to go to one place, find exactly what I'm looking for, and then for me it's just like a time and an organization thing. So unless that other unless that one advertiser has amazed something that's so amazing, then I would probably use them. But otherwise, it's just much easier for me to go to share sale, go to CJ, boom, 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 do it all that way. Yeah, uh, for me, I, I actually, I think that, that that's more, that's something that comes up a lot with me in the CPA space, because there, there's so many different networks out there. Um, for me, it's relationships. I can, it, but it, but then who do you have the relationship with if you work through the network? Do you have it with the merchant still, or do you have it because the, the, the network is basically in between you and the I have the, I, the merchant? I have the relationship more with the, with the, 
I guess with, it would be with the now. Well, I don't have a relationship with Share a Sale. I would have a relationship either with the, with the affiliate merchants. manager of yeah. the, of the merchant, or if I'm going through an OPM like like Greg, yeah. I would have the relationship there. So I don't. I'm, I'm trying to think. I don't think I have a direct. Uh, I'm not doing anything direct with a merchant right now. You know? okay. I don't think I have that because I think a lot of the time. I, I need certain things that maybe the merchant can't, you know, is, is I don't want to say savvy enough, but the, it's just they're concentrating on their product. Right. You know, they're concentrating on, on building their business. I might need some technical stuff. You know, I, I need so, something, a landing page on the back end or something. I need somebody yeah. in there who understands that part of the business. I want the merchant to know their business inside and out. That's what I want. You know, I, if, they, if they happen to be a jack of all trades, great. But, you know, I want them to concentrate and make sure they know what they're doing and just have somebody in there who can help me more with me because I need a little help on the technical side of things. I need that kind of mm. relationship. And who gives that to you, the network or the merchant? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Who gives that to you, the network or the merchant? Uh, it, would, it would be the, the affiliate manager, whoever. At the it, merchant. Yeah, it would be at the merchant, yeah. yeah. Or if it's and from the manager perspective, I've heard from, from affiliates for the last seven years that they trust the networks yeah. because they've worked with internal programs in the past and they've never been paid. Uh, and mm. you might be very respectable, you're running a great internal program, but they know for a fact that if it's run through a network, they're going to get paid and they're going to get paid on time. And the network is out there mm -hmm. looking for on behalf of both the merchants and affiliates. So uh, the, where the affiliates live right now are in the networks. Mm -hmm. They are looking for programs in the networks, just like we've been doing. And that is where they trust uh, the, to build those relationships. It's easy to search. All right. Well, thank. <laughs> right. All right. We run out of time. Thank you very much. We appreciate. Yeah, thanks. It. Thanks, everyone.